Hello, I'm so glad to see you guys. Take a few breaths up. Super glad to see you. Up, good morning, and down. And up, and down, and up. Hi, Polly. Hi, everybody, Michelle, hello. Now I'm gonna offer some different movements in case you have anything going on with your lower body that you have a different thing you can do. Now that was a warm up. If you can go out wider and pull down, add that. Exhale, heels, keep going. Now we'll just go over our cues. You notice at first we might move into the posture slower. And then as you feel more comfortable, you're welcome to go lower and maybe even faster, although faster isn't always better, but just you're taking uh, attention to your body to see what you need. Your heels are heavy, your knees track with your second toe, your arms are gliding up and down, getting some heart rate going, getting some blood flow going. And two, now stay there. And then we're gonna open up the arms and hold that squat, two, and neck is easy, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now leave the hands on the thighs and round to the back. Inhale and exhale. Keep doing that. I'm gonna slide off this sweater now that we're getting warmer. And round. Inhale and exhale. Now tuck, tuck the right shoulder towards the floor and then the left. You're basically waking up those back muscles, inner thighs. Inhale, take as much time or as little as you need. Now we're gonna roll all the way up and feel your back wake up. Now walk your feet in together, lift up your heels if you can. If that one's not good, like Polly, if that hurts your foot, go into a squat again or do a leg lift, anything that helps you find a way to do movement that doesn't hurt your body. Knees are soft, heels are lifting, shoulders are down the back. Inhaling and exhaling. I do like to get the calves most time. They're so important for knee health and so important for our balance and so important for vascular health. And up, and three, and two, and one. Now, see if you can take a normal chair squat. The heels are heavy, and you go down and up. The arms are gonna go up and down. This is really important to get in and out of chairs. Quad strength is related to uh, uh, staying out of long-term care. Can't remember the exact quote, but staying out of long-term care. So leg strength, important for preventing falls. Four three and also for those little knees two you're doing great one now this is going to be more like a balance see if you can lift up your leg to 45 degrees bolt mold is big kick go as big as you feel comfortable with try to keep the body upright five six seven beautiful eight nine now the other side ten 10, bolt mon, two, big kick, three, if you can, point and flex, four, that's gonna help those muscles that stabilize at the ankle joint, five, six, this glute stabilizing, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna put it in a dynamic circle, so forward and around, let me move back a little so you can see, forward and around, touch if you need to, like I did, three, Four, bigger is harder. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Other side, forward, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. Now, if the bigger the circle, the harder. And the only modification, just make it smaller if you need to, or touch your foot when you need to. Five. Good, Jean. Or you could hold on to something. That's another one. Seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Very good. Now we're going to do another combo. This is going to be a chair squat. When you stand up, you're going to shift. It's like you're a star. This one is called TikTok. And out and out. Squat and out. Breathe in and out. I also like these coordination ones with the exercise because it helps keep the brain uh, healthy neuroplasty, healthy, preventing dementia. Four, three, two, we have one more. One. Nice job. Now, if you would like to take a set of push-ups on the wall, you can. If you would like to go down to the floor and do them, I'm going to encourage you to grab a sip of water before you head down. But we are going to do a set of push-ups somewhere. Mm -hmm. Great job. You can bend your elbows. Good, Karen. Two. Feel your abs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Now, if you can, five more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, you could interlace your fingers or you could take a child's pose, whatever you need. Five, four, three, two, <coughs> and one. Now, we're going to put our forearms down and go into a plank. If you would prefer your hands, you can. And uh, Holly, I forgot to mention this. If you need a modification for your toes, or if anyone does a modification, if you were to have a foot issue or your, you know, a plantar fasciitis, is you put your foot up on something like a yoga block, or sorry, your shin or a foam roller. That's how you can get off your feet if you were to need a modification. So this is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and we're going to wake up the side plank, and you're going to open up. You could be on a roller or not. You could be on your forearm or your hand. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Good. Four, three, two, and now the other side. We're touching base with all the side core muscles, getting them warmed up. In ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. And then the back core, uh, if you don't like this one and you would rather do a front plank, you can. This is a reverse plank, 10, or reverse table. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Good. Four, three, two, and one now lower just for a moment and take your interlace finger position and massage your hands and go the other way we're going to grab a sip if you need it we're going to go back into the front plank we've got some different challenges we're going to be adding on to it you can use uh, your elbows or your hands you can use a roller or not i'll i'll cue it either way now oh that's good with your forearms on the mat or hands you put yourself in a plank now, if you want to add on a push forward and back, you can. Very small, like two inches, and really pull the pubic bone towards the navel. 
Neck is easy. Forearms are strong. Arms are strong. Abs are strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. And now we're going to do a side plank variation. Take that hand at your head and like a little triangle, you've got this arm in the air and you rotate it, one, and your torso. Your legs stay pretty stable, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then lower your hip. Now we're going to go back to that front plank. The possibility here is that you do a dolphin plank, dolphin plank, dolphin plank hinging. I'm going to grab another sit. <clears throat> now your hinge is at the hips and then you go back to plank your hinge is at the hips and you go back to plank if you're not on a roller it'll still work up 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 four three good two now recover for a moment Sometimes I have to adjust my mat on these because it's on a rug, but take your time, do that if you need to. Now on this one, we're going to paint a rainbow. It's a side plank on your forearm, your elbows under your shoulder, your hands at your thigh. Get ready to lift up and then go over and then lower your hip, but not all the way to the floor. Lower a little bit, concentrate on the up more than the down. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to lower that hip and we're going to go to the other side. Okay, your elbows under. Now your inhale pushes you up. Two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten. I really like it. Now we're going back to the forearm plank. These are pretty demanding. You're doing great. If you ever need to modify, just go to your knees and hold a normal, a modified plank. Go to your forearms. Now this is a subtle cue, but it really works. Elbows under your shoulder, feet long. Now act like you're pulling your elbows closer to your feet and your feet closer to your elbows. It's an isometric hold. It'll make your abs fire more, contract more, but you don't really move, but just really pull the bones together, elbows towards feet, feet towards elbows. Feel your ribs get closer to your pubic bone and your pubic bone get closer to your ribs. And then relax on the side. Whew. Now this is a tree possibility. Your top foot could be on something, your calf or your inner thigh, and you hold. Now just do 10, nine, Eight, five, two, lower your hip, go to the other side. You got it. Now we're going to do a tree possibility for 10. When you get there, your foot could come up to your inner thigh or your calf before you go up. You can lift <clears throat> 10. Inhale. And then exhale, lower. Nice. Now this is reverse plank or reverse table. You choose, go up. If you want a variation, you can lift a leg and then the other and up and up. Breathe in, breathe in. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to have a seat for a moment. <clears throat> Fingers forward. Pull your shoulders down. And the other. Feels good. Other side. Yep, other side of your forearm too. 
other side of your forearm. Nice. If you'd like a sip, grab a sip. We're going to do a little bridging. And this is also part of the core, the back muscles. And the glutes and the hamstrings are going to keep our back healthy. Your feet are on the roller if you have a roller. If you don't, you're just going up and down. It's no problem. Just up and down. The essence is your hips are level. Now, your neck has a space underneath it no matter where you are in your bridge. Like you could slide a pencil underneath your neck at any time. Now stay up and do 10 little pulses. Let your knees touch and go up and down. Open up your knees and go up and down. Now lower. Now we're gonna take your legs into your belly just for a moment. Now put the feet back on the floor or the foam roller and put your, um, I should say right ankle to left thigh. Go up and down. We'll do 15 on one leg. The backup plan, the modification is to just do two feet. Now that foot comes down, take your other one and go up and down, 15. That foot comes down, inhale, lower. Now, if you uh, can, lengthen your legs out and your calves are on the foam roller or the floor, your heels are on the floor with the longer bridge. If you're doing bridge, you might bend the knees a bit more, Polly. Yeah, there you go. Now lift up and down and exhale. And you're just, it's in a longer kind of a, bri a longer bridge. You do feel your hamstrings and your glutes. Your knees are, are bent at least a little bit, not as much as your normal bridge. Now, if you can, hold yourself up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. Do it again. 10, lower. Now do it another time where you hold yourself up. 10, feel your hamstrings firing, contracting, and then lower. Now bring your feet or your foam roller closer. Now you're going to lift up, and we'll take those leg pulls. You're going to lower and lift lower and lift now the modification would be just to stay with the bridge on two feet five six seven eight keep the other glute firing nine now lower that foot and do the other foot up in the air and do your leg pull breathe 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 point and flex mm -hmm. seven Eight, nice neck, relax shoulders. Lower that foot down, inhale, lower your spine, hold on to your ankles or your feet, and now you're in a bound angle stretch. Let your knees be on an imaginary table or your ankles and take your hands behind your head and rotate into crisscross for abs. Keep your ribs down. Pull your toes back now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now hug your legs in, make a little rock right and left. Now right leg up long, left leg long. Now you can lift up your shoulders and stretch and stretch and stretch. Now one hamstring gets a little stretch and the abs are pull, the abs are working. Pull your toes back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep moving. 4, 3, 2. Recover. Hands to feet. Happy baby. Now this is a hamstring stretch. You can rock a little here, right and left. 5, 4, 3, 
two. Now place your feet down on the roller or the floor. Now lift up 10 times neutral. That is where your knees are in line with your heels. That's considered neutral. Now what we're gonna do is keep the feet roughly the same, but open the knees a little wider. And like you have a big watermelon in between your knees. Now you're going up and down, but you're gonna feel more outer hamstrings, more outer glutes. Now we're gonna put our knees to touch. They're, they're slightly touching, like you have a little penny between your knees and you go up and down. Now you're gonna feel more inner glute, inner hamstring. Finish off with a final set of neutral. 10 heels and knees are in a line, knees are over the heels. Lower down and then take your right ankle to left thigh, reach your hands through the window and you might even rock here. Release any tension. Woo! Good, how about move those ankles while you're in the air and point and flex your foot. Inhale. Now let's take it to the other side, ankle to thigh. You can move that ankle. Now you can put your hands underneath your thighs and you can pop up to grab a drink. Um, we're gonna be doing some swans here, which is a belly down movement. I was realizing how much easier it is to be dehydrated in the winter, I think, because the heat's on and we're dried out and you don't feel like you're sweating. So I don't know if that's the same with you, but I was noticing that a lot. So I may be queuing it a little bit more for this month. <laughs> Belly down. And you, you don't really feel thirsty when you need the drink, right? <laughs> so yeah. So arms are wide if you have a roller. If you don't, don't worry. Just put your hands on the floor. But we're in it for the whole picture of health. So <laughs> we're going to be queuing that water and joint comfort, but muscle challenge. Now this is an inhale to lift up normally. If you have a hard time pulling your belly in and it's like your low back feels super sensitive, then you might try an exhale when you do the lift because that will help you get your abs to really con connect. So there is there are different techniques in the breathing with the movements that help you get whatever goal you have. Inhale facilitates extension. Inhale helps you get up taller. But if your low back is really sensitive, then it may be more important for you to exhale when you lift so that you have your abdominals on. You have everything working for your favor. So you'll hear me mix up cues because it depends on what the focus is. Now, when you can, stay up. When you're ready, stay up. Shoulders down and back. Neck is easy. Take an inhale. Now lower, we're gonna do two more sets. So inhale, come up. And lower, now one more, go up. Now, when you lower this time, you can bend your knees right and left like you're a windshield wiper. It's going to just help release if there was any tension there. Four, three, two. Now let your legs down and you're going to go up with your inhale and take your hand behind your thigh and then take your other arm to your thigh and your other arm 
and your other arm and right and left and right and left. Now both arms are on and inhale lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now just for a moment, take a child pose, grab a sip if you need it. We're going to come back to some more belly downs. <clears throat> and you can get rid of the roller for a moment but take your hands at your hips go up with your inhale now lift up your legs as well if you'd like to add on take a flutter kick with your thighs they're vertically kicking in a short little flutter Ten, two, three, four. And Michelle, just check which way feels good for your shoulders. If you flip your palms towards the floor, it's external rotation. But if that makes your shoulder feel jammed, then do the other. But generally, external rotation is going to combat how our arms are forward during life and strengthen the rear deltoid a little bit better. Now relax and windshield wipe. Now we're going to do a possible add-on. Interlace the fingers at your low back if that works for you. If it doesn't, then do the hand beside you. Go up, inhale. Now, you can add on a foot tap, so tap your feet together, and this is more horizontal adduction. This is inner thighs, hamstrings, glutes. Inhale, and relax. Now, come back and do a, if you can, toe under child pose. That's going to feel like your feet get a great stretch. Now this next is down dog, up dog articulation. And the um, modification would be doing a cat cow on your hands and knees in a short lever or doing a forearm plank. Thank you, Michelle. But if you're ready, go up, you lift to your heels, you go through plank, you go into up dog, you tuck your chin, you push through your spine, you lift and inhale and exhale, tuck. And you lift, and you tuck, and you lift, and you tuck, and you lift, and tuck. Good, guys. Enjoy. This is just so good for the back. Two. And one. Now have a seat and we're going to take a couple hand stretches. Take your thumbs to your first finger, act like you have goggles on, flip your fingers and put the circles of your thumb and first finger around your eye orbits, ulnar nerve. Now take prayer pose in front and pull down. Now, a bonus would be take the hands behind you and work the fingers up. Prayer pose. Let me show you what it looks like in the back. Now, take your legs out a little bit. Take your arms open. Rotate first. This is called the saw. Pretend that you're going to saw off your pinky toe. Rotate. Saw. Rotate, saw. Now act like someone has your back arm and they're pulling it and it's like you're a big eagle wing. Hamstrings are getting a stretch, calves. Two and one. Now put the feet together. Now keep your legs glued and rotate right and left. There is a percussive bounce, but I want you to notice, even if you have to look at them, your feet don't shift past each other. Rotate, rotate, four, three, two, one. Now, here we are at this little glued feet and go up and over, even if you want to go lower, like I'm going to go to the elbow because it's a, a deeper stretch. So go up, maybe you just touch your hand, maybe you go down, 
up and still lengthen your spine. You noticed each one of those exercises we did, there's a length in the middle. That's called axial extension. Good length. Now hold it, find a place that feels amazing. Go to the other side. Amazing, up and over. Go up, add rotation, hold it. Now your hands help you hold it, 10. Open up, exhale, rotation. Good job. Bring it forward really good. Grab a sip if you need it. <clears throat> We're gonna go back to the belly down and do some moving swans, upper body, lower body. Now, when you're down, you start with your upper body without your hands and then your hands can help you. Now you lower and your legs go up. Lift up your upper bodies. Now your leg. Legs in upper body. And lower body. It's like you're a rocking chair. Hold yourself up. There you are. All right. Hold 10. Yeah, I don't know why it went out either. Eight, seven, six. Very quick recovery though. Five. We did a little rocking swans. And then we did, now we're doing a hold. Now, the possibility here is that you do a bow pose, but if you don't feel like you can reach your um, ankles, what you can do is just hold on to your fingers and lift. Another possibility is you hold one foot and then do um, two different sets, one foot each, but find what extension works for you. Your neck is soft. Everyone looks good. Notice we're holding it a little longer. Lower and either do it again or hold your other foot and come up. And relax back into a child pose. And we're gonna walk our fingertips over to one side. Make it a back stretch by walking your fingertips over to one side. You can also open up your uh, armpit like clamshell. Now walk your fingers over to one side. Open up that armpit like clamshell. And then come back to legs in front. Grab a sip if you want. We're going to do the rack posture. The rack posture is really good for, for um, the posture. You go up and behind, and then you go up and behind. You soften the elbows. You lift your heart. Breathe in. Five. Four. Three. Two. Good. Inhale. 
and then exhale. Now you can uh, take your hands to the front, little interlaced, and massage, massage the other way. Now you're gonna inhale and use your abs to put your elbows behind you, bend the knees. Now extend and bend. Now keep lifting up through your sternum. Your neck has a uh, palm, your chin has a pomegranate underneath it. We're gonna be planting a pomegranate tree. I'm so excited. We just planted eight trees, but now the next one is gonna be a pomegranate. Now go to one corner, bend, and then the other. Now extend and extend. Now this is called can can. Try four more. A modification would be you don't lengthen your knees as long. Two. Now we are gonna lower our spine. Take a moment. Lift up your right leg and extend your left leg. Now, right there, you have a stretch. If you think you'd like to add on, lift up your shoulder blades and pull. Now, your left leg's hovering off the floor. 10. This is abdominals and hamstring stretch. Now, relax. Take your left leg up, your head's down. Your right leg's going to extend. You're in a hamstring stretch. Lift up and hold. And lower. Nice. Now, let your head down and bicycle your legs. That may be what you do, or you can take your legs further away from you, or you can come up five times, bicycle, Four, three, two, and stay up for a moment. You're gonna put your hands underneath your feet. Now, if you wanna add on, extend. Ten, nine, eight, five. Good team. And then in and out if you would like another balance challenge. You know how we do dynamic balance and we do static? You could leave them close together and hold. Nice job. Grab a sip if you'd like it. We're going to go into a side plank here and do a um, uh, paint the sky. I also call these rainbow sometimes too, paint a rainbow. Elbow down, hand up and over. Breathe in and out. Enjoy how strong your body is. Six, how strong it's gotten. This is arms, abs, hips, breathing. It's flexibility. Notice how good it feels to be strong and flexible. Now we're going to go to the other side. And this hand starts at your hip and you go up and over. Really good, I like it. Now I'm gonna throw in another set of push-ups. If you prefer to do them on the wall and that's better for your joints, you can do them there. If you would like to do them on the knees here or on the hands and knees, like, um, excuse me, um, table or a knee uh, modified or even toes, your shoulders are down the back. Your head is in line with the rest of your body. It doesn't poke forward. Nice. Good job. Belly in. Good. Elbows are close to your body, and that's going to feel like more triceps. Six, five, four, three, two. Now, I'm going to show a stretch. 
it's cow face and you know it but I'm just going to show it here you could take this stretch here if you cannot reach you can also hold on to a dynaband or an elastic tubing to reach inhale up and over that's my girl that feedback loop that tactile will help Breathe in. Good. You see, I like to focus on the stretches that help with our eventual, with our posture. Nice job. And then let that go. Now we're going to put our feet in front, grab a sip if you need it. And we're going to do, I've actually drunk all this. So let me see if I have anything in here. Oh, good. A partial roll back. Now partial rollback is generally knee bent because that keeps your spine able to articulate. So this is the beginning. If you would like to add on, try to the right and then try to the left. Now, if you're still able to add on, I have to get away from the wall. You can go lower and lower. Okay. Now please do which modification helps you six more times. If your feet can stay on the ground and don't kick up, you're fine to go all the way down like I am. But if your feet start kicking off, then just keep it a good form and a limited range of motion. That'd be more important. And now we're going to go down, but we are going to try to do 20 counts. One, five, 10, 15. Full body stretch. Inhale, reach, hands beside your hips. Lift up both legs. Now this is called corkscrew. Draw a circle with your legs glued and then draw a circle the other way. The image is you're drawing a clock on the sky. four, three, two, one. Nice. Hug the legs in a bit. Now this next one is hands behind your head. Take your elbows and touch your knees or that way, head with that way, and then lengthen your legs and open your elbows. Now stay up in your shoulders, lengthen your legs, double leg stretch, touch your elbows to knees, breathe in and out. Good. And just take four more. Three. These are pretty hard. Two. Recover for a moment and then start lifting your legs up towards vertical. Now with your legs, you're going to be doing this vertical scissor. And what we'll do is make it bigger as we lift our shoulder to the opposite long thigh that's in the air towards vertical lift your shoulder so it's a rotation while you're doing these scissor legs now we're going to try to point through our feet uh, pretty deliberately pretty intentionally i don't want you to get a calf cramp but give some energy through your toes and lengthen your knee if it will four three so we're actively working our ankles two now if you have uh, ability to do more pull your toes back 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 recover and take your hands to each knee and stir your knees about five each way all right now leave your left leg long lift your right leg up and draw six circles each way this is called leg circles your abs are working to keep your ribs down your thigh muscles are working in the top leg now go six the other way the modification would be to bend those knees or make the knees uh, the, the circle smaller or both Sometimes it's uh, nice to have a pillow under your head if that's what you need. Now hold the leg up, point and flex, point and flex. When you're pointing and flexing, spread through your toes 
and let's add the foot is getting some attention. Spread, spread, spread. Add some circles with your ankles. I sometimes move my other ankle too. I think that's okay. Just do give your attention to the top one. Now the other leg's gonna come up and it's gonna do leg circles first. We just did six each way. Six, five, four. Keep the breathing happening. Breathe in and out. Now we're gonna go the other way. Now leave that leg up and you can point and flex. Inhale, you're just ankle rolling, you're spreading the toes, you're, you're giving your leg and your feet some attention, your ankles. All right, now the left foot comes down and the right leg goes up, the thighs are roughly in the same line. Now you can do five crunches here, or you could do climb a tree up. And let's just do three on that. And then the other side, three or five crunches. All right, hug your legs in, relax. Take your left leg long, take your right knee over, knee down twist. Take an inhale. Now, as you're ready, go to the other side, knee down twist. Bring it back and let your feet go wide. Now, the feet are like a bridge, but wider, but drop the inner right knee and pick up your left ankle and stretch out that hip. Your arms could be overhead. Breathe in, yep, like it. Yeah, that looks like it needs it today. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, take another inhale, exhale, take the left foot down and then drop the left inner knee, pick up the right ankle and place it on top.
Now lie on your side and you can take a quad stretch here. This is how most of you take it like that. You can, you can also do this on a foam roller though. And you could also do this on the floor. So if you're on the foam roller, you're vertical, Betty, that's the one you like. Yeah, nice. And 10. Breathe really low in that diaphragm. Nine, eight, seven, six. Good. Your shoulder's also getting a stretch if you're doing the side one. Five, four, three. Breathe in, and we're going to do that other side. You could be on your side holding onto your foot, or you could pull that shin under. All right, we're gonna take that out. You can put your legs up on the wall. Um, the body could, you could also do this on a sofa, you know, your legs up on a piece of so a couch or something like that. So it doesn't have to be the wall, but up higher than your hips, up higher than your heart. Relax. Good, releasing tension. You can feel how the ankles feel better. Vascular system, get some support. Now take a moment, inhale. You can release your sacrum down to the floor and you can slowly make your way up and come up to a seated position, eyes closed, hands at your heart. And we'll breathe in an intention of wellness to our cells. So we're giving each of our cells nourishment right now, giving them attention so they can rebuild and repair. We're going to give that attention to our mind, so the cells of our mind and the, the mind's ability to repair and regrow and keep getting stronger and keep being pliant and have neuroplasty. And we're going to give that attention to our breathing, the cells of our lungs, and to our spirit, that part of us that is beyond physical. And inhale an intention of wellness to your physical cells, your mind, and your spirit, your breath. And if you want to add an image to this, I like to add uh, some type of a healing cave. Today it's going to be, uh, I'll just give an image of if you have a garden, then you can imagine all the produce that you have in your garden, that healthy, fresh sunlight has grown, your fertile soil. I have a little orchard right now, and it's just so beautiful to have just your fresh fruit that you grew. So something that's a healthy feeling for you, put your mind's eye in that image of health, wellness, something that needs sunshine, soil, fresh air. And we'll just nourish our body, mind, and spirit to the highest good right now with natural, fresh air, soil, food, water, all those good things that we've known forever in our ancestors' DNA that's good for us. So whenever you're ready, you're going to open your mind, open your eyes, Feel that nourishment for the rest of your day and continue to give yourself that healthy, natural well-being. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.